Hello there guys, this is the Prussian Prince and it's time to start a new Let's Play series of Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour. So, as promised, I did a Let's Play of, uh, what was it, Italy, followed up by USA, and then we ended with, well we just ended with United Kingdom, probably this video will be up the day after the UK Let's Play series ended, so should be pretty soon anyway we're gonna be playing Japan this time around so again custom game because it's kind of addictive this game because I like shaping up a nation the way I want it to be even though I mean it's kind of obvious that it's a little bit overpowered but what do you know it's it's quite fun now let's click play and we shall become Hirohito, head of state of Japan, Nippon des, Stato des, and here we go. So we will just lower our neutrality a little bit, hit confirm, go to next stage, hit clear all. Now we need to research some of those militia texts so we can get infantry, there we go. Then research it a little bit to those levels. Now we want this uh, mountain warfare equipment, arctic warfare equipment, mountain infantry, and marines because why not, marines could be useful. Now the next thing we want to research, well first of all let's alter this because it could be good. Let's put a lot into officers. Not that much into research. Let's put like 12 to start things off. I guess 12.01. Now, light tanks isn't really useful. I mean, it could be useful, but anything more than light tanks, so like medium tanks and heavy tanks, probably won't be able to use efficiently. However, artillery could be something that we would need. So we got infantry set. Hmm. We could go ahead and get some of those cav decks up, but it's cavalry, so I don't really need it for much. Unless we want motorized, but we don't want motorized, so. Could take this, but it costs a lot of points, so we might do get that later instead. Now let's go for light cruisers. Actually, let's go to industry because that's most important. Agriculture, let's get it to 36 level. And after that, let's stop. Education, let's keep researching it for a bit. That level is decent enough. Now the next thing we want is IC stuff up to level 40, I guess. There we go. And then what we want is the supply production, also up to level 40. We need some... What do we need? Coil to oil conversion. We might need refining efficiency. No. We might need coil. Uh, I mean coal processing technology. Why do I call it coil? <laughs> like it's from another game. Anyway, let's get this, radio technology, all of these technologies, they are quite useful. I can get electronic computing stuff, which is quite nice. Helps a lot with research efficiency and everything. Those can be nice too. And now let's go over to, well, inventory tab is exactly what we wanted. Maybe we can research a little bit more, but not now. Armor tab, all we wanted. Escorts, well, we're gonna go for the light cruisers. And we need to build naval bases, so we should research destroyers. Let's get this to at least 36 deck, and then we will get the capital ships ready. We need single engine aircraft. Yeah, let's get all these technologies, same with bomber. Well, do we actually need? Yeah, of course we need bombers, because we're gonna need this. Yeah, basic bomb bombers. Then we need basic twin engine airframe. We got it. 
Uh, we could get this and air launched torpedo is going to be useful but apart from that nothing really now fighters we got all we wanted industry we got pretty much all we wanted we could get this but we have already too much manpower i think now what we want next is these three for air what could we get we'll see yes we don't have it so but we have CAGs and that could be helpful. We need to get that technology. Where is it? Yep, there we go. So now we want to research this up to 36 level. Uh, and that's just about it actually. For fighters, we don't really need those techs. Bombers, not really either, but this actually does help CAGs. These two texts help CAGs, these texts help CAGs. So, something to keep in mind. We want to up the research of this as well. Just in case, same thing over here. But the capital ships, oh, I forgot about the capital ships. Let's research them now. I'm going to get them to level 38 actually. So we can get them to like have them quite nicely upgraded maybe we could also bump them one more level though it's gonna be very expensive so we may not be able to get all we wanted because of that let's lower the level of this ever so slightly there we go now all we have I mean all we need is under our command I need operational level organization though. There we go, should be researched fairly soon. I guess that's it for now. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. We got our aircraft carriers researched quite nicely. These industrial techs are at a good level. So what we need to do next is hit confirm your changes and go to the next stage. Now the next stage Select everything and click disband all units. The same thing again. Same thing again. Basically, now we want to select all our navies, expand them, expand all our. Basically, everything needs to be disbanded at this point, so we can remake it and with better technologies and everything. Okay, disband this. And this. What else can we disband? Oh, these things over here. We have a couple more that we can disband. There we go. Now we have. What is it? Oh, this guy over here. That's unnecessary. So unassign all, of course. Wow, we have a lot of available. I see. Or, uh, I see multiplied by days. I don't really need all these. Uh, what do you call them? Escorts. We're just gonna go for lots of convoys. Something like. Let's go for. 500 convoys. As in our last let's play. That was a decent number. Now we just want to build a lot of things. Like. Four interceptors. Hmm, actually, no, let's build two. Yeah, let's build two interceptors. Deploy them randomly, like over here, called the, the first interceptor squadron. Just like that. And now we could also build CAGs, but not now. What we want to build is we want to build those fleets. So make. Do not add the CAGs. Okay, so we want to make three fleets. So make 12 CAGs. I mean 12 uh, carriers, just like that. And we will make some uh, some light cruisers for each. For each we will need like six light cruisers, I guess. Wait, let's try that out. So let's deploy these ones first in Susaki. 
So we got four. Now let's deploy some of those cruisers. All right, there we go. We have six of those now. Uh, we could go with a couple more. Wait, let's go with two. Let's go with eight for uh, eight per CV fleet. Seems like a, a good option, I guess. So we have 12 in each. Now let's deploy these somewhere else. Like over here. And let's make eight for them as well. Eight light cruisers. Deploy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. They're all deployed. So now we got our last one that we need to deploy. Which is going to be over here. And it's deployed. So what else do we need? Do we need we need four more light cruisers because light cruisers are really important to screen carrier units. Let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. Call this the first CV fleet. No, actually, let's call it CTF as in our last let's play because that's a cooler name. Well, not last, but. Well, yeah, last because it was. It was United Kingdom. I had a little bit of a brain fart right there. So what else do we want to build? Well, we could build a lot of CAGs, right? Let's make. Well, we need eight per. Eight per CV fleet. Because each CV can hold two CAGs. So we built eight. We built eight. Wait, what did we just build? Oh, we built extra light cruisers. My bad. Oh, let's keep building those, in fact. There we go. We built the uh, CAGs. I'm going to deploy everything over here, actually. And reorganize later. Because I'm kind of bored of this reorganization thing. Let's deploy them over here and merge everything together. Now deploy some of those cruisers somewhere over here, I guess. There we go. Some reserve cruisers, I guess. We could build a couple more. Where are those light cruisers? Let's build like, yeah, eight more as reserves. Go to Nagara and deploy everything over here. Oh wait, I mean Nagoya, but yeah, Nagara is the name of the fleet. Call them reserve CLs. Next thing we want to do is we want to we want to actually build some transport ships. Let's build let's build about 20 of those. Should be a good start. Deploy them. Deploy everything over here. There we go. Deployed everything. Now the next thing we want to go for is division building and for composition go for temp this template and go for infantry infantry artillery artillery just like this save as reserves and the next template should be marines marine 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 or marine 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 engineer wait we don't have any engineers maybe we should have researched that oh well who cares let's just save this template this can also work and mountaineer, 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 mountaineer. Yep. Just like this should be a decent, uh, decent division uh, thing. Now we're going to have to make, let's make five of those to start things off. One, two, three, four, and five. 
five more. One, two, three, four, and five. And five more, because why not? We can do it. Also, we want to make five mountaineers, I guess. Let's go make them over here. One, two, three, four, and five. We have all those mountaineers ready. But I think I should be ending this episode for now. We will continue with the organization of the Japanese the Japanese uh, Navy, Air Force, and Army in the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.